All right, guys, it's Phil, and guess what? It's a battle report. Blimey. Right, I'm here with Mr. Trick. Say hello, Mr. Trick. Hello. Hello, and he's using his Slanesh demons with some guest stars. Uh, I'll tell you what, run down what you've got there. Let's start over here, shall we? So I've got four warriors, yep. which count as fiends. Close one enough, One unit yep. of two, one unit of two. Yep. I've got one Banshee Herald. Yep. One awesomely converted um, Keeper of Secrets. Yep, very nice looking One indeed. massive blob of 50% painted, <laughs> half broken demonettes. Yep, and down and the back. this guy, who is, well, not fully assembled because that's going to make him a bitch to paint. Yep. Okay, and who was he, sorry, representing? He is... Just a hero, is he? Yep, he is a Lord of Slaanesh on Demonic Mount. Okay, fantastic. And that's the Slaanesh army. My army consists of five putrid bright kings, two rockbringer sorcerers, there's a lord of plague, Guthrot Spume, who's my main named character for the army, and a unit of five chaos knights. And we're going to be playing the battle plan, Battle Against Time, from the Quest for Galmaraz book. Basically what this involves is the two armies, one army here deploys six inches along one edge, which will be my army, and I've got to get into that area basically and if I can wipe out all his units great but we'll see and it's a very it's a sparse battlefield there won't be much terrain on it at all because there's the unstable ground rule which can stop people from being able to move and units can just lose wounds as they sink into the mire basically so yeah we're gonna get to deploying summoning. Ah, summoning. I've got summoning Yes. Um, for my Robbringer Sorcerers, because of the ground and to make sure this doesn't go too one-sided, there is a limit on my summoning whereby my casting rolls are reduced by two. So if it says casting value six and I roll a six, that counts technically as a four and the summoning wouldn't come off. So thanks for reminding me on that. Yeah, and yeah, what we'll do is we'll get deployed, we'll find out who's having the first turn and I'll come back and show you how we've laid our armies out. Okay, rolling off for deployment. I get, I get a four. I get a two. Okay, so oh, Slash sorry, that was a five anyway. So the Nurgle <laughs> deploy first. So we'll come back when deployment is done, because I only get six inches to work this out. Okay, so my army is deployed. I've got them all along six inches, along there, as you can see. So there's the Blight Kings and Gorot Spume and a Sorcerer behind. There's my Knights, Lord of Plagues, and a Sorcerer behind there. So it's essentially split into two groups there right and here's the other army kind of he gets 24 inches to deploy but he's held it back there obviously to kind of make me have to trudge more along this battlefield <laughs> so that's that okay and now because i finished deploying first i think yep yeah so i get the first turn indeed you do you get priority okay so let's get into it then so Phil's first turn. Okay, so starting with my hero phase, my general is good about spume, I don't know if I mentioned that. Yep. But basically he's going to use the mission command ability where all my units, if they choose to run, can run an extra six inches instead of rolling a dice. So they get across the battlefield nice and quickly. Um, as for the sorcerers, let me just remind myself what the sorcerers can do in terms of magic. Uh, enemy units within seven inches. Well, I'm not going to do anything like that, so let's have a little think. I'm going to actually try. I forgot to add the war scroll, so you have to just bear with me a little bit here. I'll trim this down a bit. Yeah, yeah. Pat's going to sing to you for a bit. You don't want me calling you Pat. Nope. Right. It's fine. Uh, Pat or trick, either one. Or trick. Right. I'm going to try and summon. Let's try and summon some nerglings with this guy. So some Nurglings. Can I summon those? No, I can't actually. They didn't let you summon those. That's a shame. But I can summon Plague Drones. Mm -hmm. uh, again, we're running to a minus two, so these have a casting value of six. So, so the awe of Sinesh is preventing, is lessening your power. Yeah, so basically I need to roll. Let's roll with my special shiny dice. Dun, I need to dun. roll an eight or higher to set up a unit of Plague Drones. Is that in the shot? Yep. And that is, ooh, that's an 11. Oh, very nice. Now, actually, it's funny because if there wasn't the minus two, that would technically allow me to double the size of the unit. I'm glad we're doing that minus two. <laughs> but I haven't actually got that many models anyway. I've only got the three, so... 
that uh, wouldn't make a lot of difference in this particular game, so you have to bear with me if you press pause or something. Right, okay, so I can set up these plague drones anywhere within 14 inches of the caster that is more than 9 inches away from enemy models. It's added to my army but cannot move in the following movement phase, so where I put them is where they are. So I'm going to pop them. Uh, how do I zoom? Let's see. Zoom is the thing on top, it's like a. This, oh, I see. So I'll set those guys up there. Sorry, Sorry gentlemen. This, this is, well, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> this, i um, never used this kind of camera before. So that's fine. That's fine. Speaking of which, where's my play droids? I need to add those to my, um, what you call it, my battle thing. Add that, add that in a bit, dude. Just uh, the same time. Yeah, I've got it anyway. Um, okay, okay, and I think they've got one more sorcerer then. Right. Who is going to be a bit mean. This is unlikely because I need a 10 or higher. I'm going to try and summon a demon prince. Oh, you can summon a demon prince? Yeah. Oh god. But I need a 10 or higher. That's a 3. Uh, so there's no demon prince. So I don't yeah. see that. Oh, well, it's there. Oh, there it is. Right. That's fine. Yeah, that's right. a 3. So well, there's no demon prince. It. No demon uh, prince is coming on. You'll be pleased to know. We just need to make Yay! Sure the right. Really okay, so movement phase. Uh, that was all the hero phase. Malarkey. So, I've got Chaos Knights, they're going to run, and their movement as standard is 10 inches. They run at an extra 6 because of the command ability. There you go, mighty 16. Which takes them all the way up to... Da, 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 da. Yeah, the charge is on. Da, 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 da. Obviously they're not going to be able to charge in this phase, but that's fine. I don't think they're within 12 inches anyway. Yeah, what might be best... I mean, if this is... Um, if when we if when you edit it, uh, you move, I stop with the random noises, which probably helps. Well, yeah, it's fine. Uh, random noises are totally fine by me, I must say. It's totally fine. Background well, music would be yeah. cool as well. Just something that's yeah. not too intrusive, I find. That's it. Sometimes it's a bit loud. Uh, okay, I'm going to move this guy. He's going to run as well. He's going to. Oh, sorry, he, this he, guy over here. He can normally go four inches, so he's running ten uh, up to there. Yes, I'm just trying to. Oops. Just yeah, trying. Did you have that? Yep, I did. Okay. Yeah, I'm just making sure that I zoom in when you do something like that. Yeah. My sorcerer can move forward, so he's also going to go 10. Oh. That is a really cool command ability. Um, <laughs> Give right. him a close up. Oh, a bit too close. Got him. There we go. The zoom's a bit powerful. It is very powerful. Go about Spume over here. He's got a movement of 4, generally the Nurgle movement. So he's just going to come up oops, and check out with those guys. Yeah. And the buzz buzzes. Yeah. And then these guys. Vikings have a movement, I'm guessing it's four inches. Yeah. Yes, likely. So they're going to actually just come up behind the drones here. Yep. So they're going to be hiding up there. And what about Mr. And the sorcerer, sorcerer. is also going to just come up behind them. Mm -hmm. Advancing forward. So basically, because everybody ran, there's no shooting and there's no charging. So, we can go straight into your hero phase. Yeah. Okay, got you. So, we're starting off with the fiends uh -huh. who move. Are you going to do any command ability the hero phase before you move? Ah, uh, good point. That's good point. important. Ah, I don't want to, don't want to miss that. <laughs> um, okay, so, can I do? He's a warlord. What's my warlord? What was my command ability? That one, for the scenario, you choose a, a model, sorry, a unit within 18 inches and they compile in 6 instead of 3, basically. Within 18. Most of your army, isn't it? If not all yeah, of it. Yeah, he's going to give that ability to these fiends here. To the fiends up there, the Tyranid Warrior fiends. Yep, on awesome. the left flank. Yep. And then they are. Well, can they run and charge, is a question. Yeah. And, uh, because a lot of my things are very fast. Mm hmm. So they mm. gets in there quick. Mm. Yeah. They're up. They're not that fast, but they are very, very What's fast. What's their movement? 12, 12 inches. Nice. They've got a good chance of getting into combat there, then. A very good chance. How far is that out? Seven? Yeah, just. Just shot. Yeah, I think that's yeah. more eight actually. Oh, okay, that's cool. But they've got a good chance. Mm -hmm. and, um, the command ability was on these guys here. So they can pile in six. Yes. And then these guys. You are the fiends. I'm gonna move a mighty twelve as well. So they're all coming up to assault these chaos knights because they're the ones you can get across the field easily. 
Easiest, yeah. if that's a word. As this is going <laughs> Easiest. On. The demonettes yep. are going to cavort because I believe they can run and charge. Right. Uh, let's double check this. I can't remember what it is. Um, now it's my turn. Um, hmm. I think they can. Can run and charge. Yeah. Can yes. run and charge. Yeah. So the demonets are going to cavort. Uh huh. Q. Um, What's their regular movement? Six. Six. So, so to get a six, they're going twelve. Yep. Yeah. So they're going to cavort. Q. Eerie. Beautiful laughter. Okay, and what's that? That's eight so two. two. So they can go eight inches. Which is still quite good. It might just. Oh, I don't know if they're within twelve or not. To be honest, actually, looking at that, it's going to be a close one. Looks like it's just out to me. Oh well. <laughs> don't need them to be in assault range. I need them to be close because they have another little ability. Uh oh. Which I didn't get to use last time because I wasn't counting. I wasn't using fiends. Ah. Uh. Yeah. So that is a big, big blob of demonettes right there. And then the herald. With her floatiness, she's going. Has she got to... fly? Nope. No. No, it's purely aesthetic. Ah, okay. That would have made her quite immune to the battle. That would have been quite good for her. <laughs> it would, but uh, no, she's, she's. Actually, just... my plague drones are flying, so they won't get swamped down. That's worth noting. Can't run and charge, but she can. She can eerily hover. Swoop over there, yep. And then this naga. Uh mm huh. -hmm. Whose name I can't remember, which is a shame because I have a name for her. Her <laughs> movement is based on her wounds. Her movement is currently 14. She's going to run. Tell She's going to run. Why not? Okay, okay what's yeah, that? That's, that's a, a four. four. Okay, yep, cool. So that's uh, 18 inches. Wow. So she's slivering like a mofo. <laughs> Again, yep. getting quite close to my knights there. But she won't be charging in this turn. That's good. Unfortunately. That is good. Right. Was the general going to move? Or? The general is also going to move, and his steed allows him to move a mighty. Every movement in this army is mighty. Apparently. Well, yes, yeah. It's a mighty sixteen. <laughs> wow. I guess in a funny way, you should have been the uh, invaders trying to get across the border. You could get over faster than I could. Yeah. <laughs> well, that, that's that's um, teaching Nurgle. Yep. This is what happens when you try and do something you're bad at. Yep. Oh well. Something I'm good at is surviving with this army. Indeed. He says. Do. So right, is that all the movement? That is all the movement. Okay. We'll go into the shooting phase then. Right, so there wasn't any shooting to do. Slash so isn't really a shooty army. Not unless you've got flamers around, presumably. That's scene show, isn't it? Yep. That is okay, so yeah, never mind then. <laughs> So, first of all, we're going to declare, he's going to charge, yep. the snake son, this unit is going to charge, Yep. this unit is not going to charge. Well, don't forget, you can roll for charge distance and then choose your target anyway, you don't have to commit to a, di to a target before hang on, you roll. Hang on, so. hang on, hang on. Did they run? Uh, I don't think... No, they just moved 12. Yeah, they, they, just they moved. moved 12, they moved 12, she ran, so... Yeah. They're going to charge. Yep. And they're going to charge. Yep. And he's going to charge. Okay. So starting with left to right. So this guy here. Yep. Snake son. He can roll. What's that? That's a four. And four four isn't going, going to be enough, enough to get him into combat. Ah, no. such a shame. Okay, let's roll for these traps. These guys. We can pile in six. Ah. Oh, what's that? A three and a one. Oh, it's down there, is it? Yeah. Yep, four, four inches again. So they're not going to get in. Unless they have an ability that says it works. Yeah, if you've got a reroll. That's a question. I'm not sure. Uh, yep. No yep. rerolls. Yep, sadly. Uh, okay, and you got these, these guys. guys down here. Ooh. What's that? That's five inches. You might just get in, I think, because you've got to get within half an inch, and there's a bit of just stuff jutting out there. So they're in. But, yeah. Now, the demonettes, they can run and charge, right? Yep. Are they within 12 inches? Because if do. they are, they can declare. Ah, oh, very nice. Because his sword is also sticking out a bit as well. So, do you need, what do you need? They need, I'd say, 12. 12, double six. 
here we go, double six. No, uh, it's actually no. five no inches or something. So, okay, so what we've got is one unit in combat there. Um, if that's all the charges? Yep, that is it. Okay, so into the combat then. I wonder which unit you're going to nominate first to attack with. Hmm, I think I'll <laughs> nominate the Fiend, of course. You reckon? Okay, I'll, we'll come back to do that. So, first okay. of all, I'm going to roll for the pair then. They are going to roll their first volley of attacks. Okay. Refer to it as deadly pincers. The deadly pincers, so is this so eight attacks? Step up a bit. Yep. That's uh, so this combat eight here. Eight attacks, four each. Yep. Four plus to hit. Hitting on fours. And so that's a pretty decent roll. That's not bad, actually. Half. Yeah, Wounding on. Four plus to wound. And if any of these are sixes, it becomes minus what? Minus, minus two, two rend. rend. Oh, yes. Okay, so one at so minus two rend, and everyone, is that uh, one regular hit? Yeah, one regular hit, which is no rend, so. Okay. So we're now rolling Phil's defence. Yep. Okay, so I'll do the one at the minus one rend first. Yep. So this will be giving me a save of five, uh, six up. Yep. And he's fine from that one. Uh, he, he saves the rending one. As the other guy with the regular one on a four up save. He's also fine. That's two sixes in a row, so no wounds uh, suffered from those attacks. Such a shame. And now they've just got one extra attack each, referred to as the Barb Stinger. This is a two inch attack, four plus to hit. Fours. That's one hit. Uh, yep, one hit. And then three plus to wound. Any wounds? Yep. Any rend? Yeah. Minus one D3 damage. Okay, so five up save. No, D3 damage. And the damage is. Three. Three. That kills one of my guys outright. Yep. <laughs> uh, and it's going to be the horn blower. <laughs> Does that spread on to another guy? No, because they've got three wounds each. Ah, uh, well, one of them dies mightily. Yeah, and then I get my attacks back. Yep. So we're going to pile in three inches. Let's bring these guys just around that way so they're all in. Because this is the sort of yeah. stuff I want to see as well. Yeah. Right, so they're all in. Now, I'll, I'm going to roll all of the leader's attacks first because he gets plus one to hit, so his he negates your minus one to hit. Um, yeah, the, the fiends cause minus one to hit because that's what it's targeting because they're soporific musk. Yes. Um, that's the only thing I need to be aware of, isn't it? The, they've got ensorcelled weapons, not glaives. Yep. Right, so the Chaos... Uh, what's his name? The Chaos Doom Knight, which is this guy, basically. Yep. With, With his ensorcelled weapon, he gets three attacks. Hitting on threes, wounding on fours. Threes, that's one. Wounding on four. No wounds. No wounds. And then he gets... The, his his steed won't get the bonus. I don't know. Well, actually, would it? I suppose um, technically... Would, would it apply to him? Because it counts as a, it's a combined profile, isn't it? Yeah, go for it then. So, so that, this is fours and fours. Yeah, one, and one hit. And fours. So that's one save with no rend. And I get a five plus save. Yeah. That's one wound from the yep. war steed. So, so on the left one, so they've got three wounds left. Well, they're one's got three wounds left. They've got four uh, wounds apiece. Okay, so you can decide which one you want to put that on. Yeah. Okay. And, and then you can the other see, three guys. As you can see, we're using uh, yeah. uh, the new wound counters. They were nice little freebie from GW on the mail order. Okay, so these guys are all at minus one to hit, basically. Yep. So with their ensorcelled weapons, it's normally hitting on a three, so this will be hitting on four up. So there's some misses. Actually, that didn't make any difference because there weren't any threes. Yep. <laughs> Sadly. And then wounding on fours. That's two wounds with no rend. Ooh. Two wounds, no rend. So two five ups. Yep. Uh, that too close. Two five ups. That's two more wounds. Ouch. So that puts, there's, there's one that says one on it. So that one that. goes down to one. Okay, cool. Okay, so I've got my steeds to attack next. So this will be hitting on fives, wounding on fours. It's not terrible because I don't think it was fives. Two hits. And wounding on fours, one wound, no, no rend. So Fail this and plus. one guy's dead. Ooh. Oh, one. one goes down. 
Okay. He's dead. First so, kin. First blood for both of us in that combat. Yep. So, uh, no more combat. So we went to Battle Shock. Yep. So the Battle Shock for my um, knights. I'll do mine. Uh, I get plus one bravery for the standard bearer. And there's a bravery seven. So that's basically one plus one dead is two, so I'm fine. These guys are bravery ten. There's no way you can fail, then, is there? Really? But I might as well make the roll anyway. Because, yeah. you know. Five. Well. Plus five. the guy died six. Yeah, he's yeah. You're yeah, fine. absolutely fine. <laughs> okay. Right. That's Battle Shock. Yep. So. Priority time. Yeah, rolling for priority. Three. Ah, oh, oh, Nurgle, Nurgle again. Sif. Right, okay. Smash, what are you doing? <laughs> so, let's see what the Nurgle could do to get this game sorted. Okay, so we're up to Phil's first set turn number two with his command phase. Yep. So, my good luck spume general, he's going to give inspiring presence to... The dudes here, I think. The uh, drones. Uh, the drones, okay. So the drones won't have to take Battle Shock. Because uh, they've got too many wounds to lose them to Battle Shock. Even, actually, mm, think about it, they've got Bravery 10, though, haven't they? Probably the same situation so, as the Fiends over there. Yeah. In fact, I'll give them to the Blight Kings. They probably won't get into combat, but I'll make the Blight Kings immune because they'll have a lower bravery. Um, other than that, I've got the two sorcerers again. Ah. None of, oh, is that one within seven inches of an enemy? I don't think so. No, Not quite. Just, uh, He's just out. Oh. That's a shame. Um, in so, that case... Miss uh, Old Metal Old Model. What I'm going to do, I'm going to use this sorcerer here, and I'm going to actually attempt to summon a Herald of Nurgle, mm. which has a casting value of five, so it'll be a casting value of seven. In this instance, so no, that fails. Yes, just shy. Uh, and actually, I'm going to try it with him as well. I'm going to go for the same thing. So, again, trying to get a seven. No, nope. oh, that's a four. So, my summoning completely fails for this turn. Ooh. Right, that's quite lucky for you because uh, he makes those brutal when there's yes. a held in the range. Um, so, that's all my command stuff. So I'm going to go into movement. Indeed. So starting with the movement, presumably, of I'll the drones. I'll do the drones first, because they're the only things that have a real movement of any consequence. Their movement is eight inches. Obviously, finishing three inches shy of your models. Let's come around here and bring them... Should I brought my... Um, a little bit. Measure. Yeah. The GW one. Well... That's, that's three inches out. Okay, Gorot Spew is going to move his uh, four inches this way. That sorcerer is going to stay where he is. My Lord of Plagues is going to move four inches up to there. Blight Kings, I'm just going to roll up a little bit, like pop that sorcerer up there. Yeah, he can go into up there. That'll put him in range of anything in combat with them for his magical bolts. Yeah. In fact, I forgot there is arcane bolt as well, which would have been in range. Oh well. Oh. Um, so yeah, that's all of the movement I'm going to do. All right. So straight into shooting. So the barbed dudes, the buzz. It's, yeah, it's these guys. They're missile weapons. They've got one attack each, throwing their death's heads. Throwing them presumably at snake son, of yep. course. So it, this one hits on a four. It's two two hits. hits. Wounding on threes. Two wounds, no vend. Uh, Damage one. Damage one. Well, he, he is going to perfectly defend himself with his four up save. Okay. Uh, yep. Four up save. Then. Oh, one wound. Ow. Ow! That hurts! Ow! You threw some mud at me. <laughs> yeah. Um, I don't think anyone else has got any shooting. Got lots so of people can't shoot wounds. anything, can he? Melee, 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 melee. Yeah. Loads of melee. melee. So, guess what? I'm going to do a load of charging now. Before we do that. Phil's 
assault Sergeants. phase. Yeah. So first of all, I'm going to try and charge the plague drones. They basically only need to get a four inch or something into him. So they're definitely in. They are in. Ten inch. I do. So they're going to go. Hello. You look delicious. <laughs> go about spume's going to have a try and charge. Go That's for the ten same guy. inches. Ow. Which I think would get him into either. Those, that one or that one, yeah. So the uh, choice is fiends or I'm or? going to pop him over here. In fact, he could probably technically be there so he can attack either, either of those two because that's within range of his other moves. Um, my Lord of Plagues here, over there, is going to try and charge seven inches. That won't probably get him into. Oh, oh. No, if, that's no, it's just only the base, shy. isn't it? That's just shy. So it's going to get him into that one anyway. Okay. Uh, Sorcerer, obviously, not going to charge. I'll try with the Blight Kings. I mean, I don't think. They're, they are within 12 of them, so. You could do it. That is 8 inches. Uh, 8 I inches don't do it. is. Probably not enough. No, not quite. Not quite. That's a shame. Okay, so that's all my charges then. So you get to pick a unit first? Indeed. Well, it's at the start of the combat phase, mm. I'm going to use the ability of... Is that filming now? Yes. Yeah, I'm going to use Go Out Spume's ability against that. What weapons has that unit got? He has his glaive and his beast's ability to stab you with its tongue. Right. Which one does the most damage? Generally, which what, is, are they all uh, damage one or? They're all no. Quicksilver glaive is your best bet, unfortunately. Yeah, I'm going to try and control that. So we both roll a dice, and if I roll higher, you can't use that weapon in this combat phase. Which is annoying. So I roll a six. You I need to roll, roll a six, really. So ah. he can't use his fancy weapon this. Round. No. Um, and I think while I'm thinking of good about spew, I'm going to go in and use his attacks. So. He's going to start with his axe. I'm not at any negatives for attacking now, am I? Uh, oh, hang on. Um, I would say that you're in danger of being ensnared. Mm -hmm. And look at this. Unfortunately, this is one of those fun little rules. You caught my eye. Yeah. So well, because of that, he's minus one. Is that like something you declared, is it? Yes. Um, Technically, I should have put, put that earlier. Uh, if you don't, if you want me to not use that this turn. I don't mind. Cool. Is, is so, so I'm at, what minus one to hit with? Is it just him or is it? Uh, yes. So I'm at minus so one. So it's any unit that finishes its piling move within three inches. So he yeah. would have done that. Oh yeah, yeah. So that's fair then. So because you caught I. Yeah. Uh -huh. I've basically done my thing to snare you, and you've snared me, and we're both tangled up in tentacles and all sorts. Oh right my! It's, it's an extremely uh, yeah. Y you, I've seen enough head to know where this is going. His tentacles <laughs> grab his quicksilver glaive, but he's staring into him like, it's so beautiful, but I don't like beauty. Exactly. Uh, right, so his axe is at a minus one to hit then. Yep. So it's hitting on fours instead of threes with four attacks. Oh. Um. Well, it, as it turns out, it didn't make any difference there. This is wounding on a two plus. So that's four wounds with minus one rend. Minus one Damage rend. two. So how many wounds was that again? Uh, it's four wounds. Ouch. Minus one rend, so you rend, your save is five up. Yep. And for each failing, there's two fails. Yep. So that's four damage from that. Ouch. So he's down to two. He's down, yeah, he's down to two. Which is very painful. Ooh, yeah, I've, got, I've got one more set of attacks from Gut Rats as well. I didn't like that too much. So we'll see how this works. This is uh, D3 attacks. So it's one attack. One attack. Hitting on twos normally, so it's hitting on three up because of his skill. Yep. Wounding on a four. No. Does Yay. nothing. So that's all his attacks. So now you get to nominate one of your units. Well, sadly, I'm going to... Hmm. Well, I'm going to nominate me lord. So the retribution, the son who is currently unable to attack because his glaive is entangled with tentacles. Mm -hmm. His steed, however, is going to attack the bugs. Into the bugs. Three attacks. Yep. Four plus. Four. That's two, two hits. hits. And four plus. 
forced to wound. One wound, One wound. no rend. No rend, okay. My save on the bugs is a 5 up, but they've also got the ability where if they take a, a wound, they can try and roll a 5 up more and see if it doesn't hurt them. Ah. So it's essentially 5 and 5. Yeah. Uh, so 5 up, uh, it's a 2, so take it, and then it. how many damage is it? It is one damage. One damage. It's just one five up again. Fail. So he take takes it. a wound, and these guys have got five wounds apiece. So this one, it means that my... Uh, I'll put the bell toller down to four. Okay. So that's all the attacks from that one, isn't it? Yep. So next up, I'm going to attack with my... I'm going to use my Lord of Plagues up there in that combat there. Are you feeling all playing? Okay, so my Lord of Plagues is going to try and attack your last fiend in this little And because spot. it's targeting it, it's minus one to hit still? Minus one to hit on him. Yes, because it's targeting a fiend. Okay, so it would normally be a three up, so we're hitting on fours. That's two hits. Wounding on threes. That's two wounds at minus one rend. Ah, oh, uh, I was pressing the wrong button there. <laughs> <laughs> Minus one ren, so yeah, uh, that's uh, two six ups then. Yeah. And it's D3 damage each. Ah! Oh, yes! Oh, saved! Wow. Needed that. Okay, I thought I was going to get him with that. Needed that. Right, okay, so that's my Lord of Plagues attacked. So you've got this guy and those guys who can pile into him. Yep, so what I think I'm actually going to do is... Yep, so I'm going to pile in. Pile again there into gut rot. rot. And Kelly's already using his ability. Yep, so I can't knock any of your weapons off with him. Yep, so they are going to aim to cut him to pieces because they are ensnaring their glorious mistress's precious son. Indeed. The fluff, there will be some fluff at some point we can probably put up, like a oh, fluff yeah. video. We should do that, we should do like a post-match. Maybe not for this one, but for the next one at least. Well, and a free match. If we're going to do the, the campaign... Uh, without ah, the Path to Glory stuff. Yeah, if, yeah. We, if, we do the, if we do the Path to Glory at some point, yeah. uh, what we should do is get our friend Adam mm -hmm. and then a couple of other guys and do a, a full from the beginning with all models painted. Absolutely. <coughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, but for now, uh, they are going to and attack. And they'll all be named units and all sorts. All right, yes, yeah, so these guys are attacking. So what's weapons first? Deadly pincers, four plus, four plus, four, four each. Four and four. So they're all going to... Oh, man. Oh, Is that man. quite a lot of misses there? That was a lot uh, of misses. Oh, two hits. Four pluses. Okay. And then Fours four again. Plus and six is a minus two rend. Oh. Two regular ones. Is there any rend at all on those then? Nope. No so, rend. so save of four plus. So save on a gut rot is a three up. Ah, oh, of course. So, oops. Hey, uh, takes one. one. Is it just one damage? Yes. Okay, so from that he's down to six wounds. Because he's got seven because it's Nurgle's number. However, so, next up are two four. barb singers, one attack each. Four uh -huh. plus to hit. Ah, oh, uh, so double one. Snake eyes. Uh, it's, uh, that. Well, okay, so the last <laughs> unit that really. I've got to attack, well, actually, I've not attacked with my drones yet. Nope. Uh, and all my knights. Uh, the drones are going to try and have a go at the uh, lord there. Yeah, yeah, let's see. The plague bringer makes two attacks rather than one with its sword. So. I would say if you use this as a prototype, so you upload this one anyway, and mm -hmm. then you go, this is a prototype, what do you like, what don't you like? Exactly, yeah, yeah. Post your comments below, guys, with what you reckon. Uh, Plague Sword. Three, uh, one attack each except for him who gets two attacks. And this is hitting. There's, he's the only one who's ensnared, right? For, with, yep. So they all hit normally. So hitting on fours. That's two hits. Wounding on threes with the plague swords. That's one wound with no rend. So his save is four plus. Oh, no. He saved that. Okay. And then each of the drones is going to attack with its prehensile probiscis. Mm, AKA probiscus. nose. <laughs> Look like this gentleman here with his 
trunk. Yeah. Now, the fun part here is that that's three attacks each. Yep. Hitting on threes. So that's pretty good rolling. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven hits. Wounding on fours. And one miss there, so that is six with no rend. Alright. You're gonna play this? Oh, sorry, six. Six no saves, no rend. On him. On him. Ooh, can he save it himself is the question. So, what's his save? His save is four plus. So, six wounds. That's one, two, three wounds. He falls. He's gone. How? Ooh. Uh, you know, unfortunately his ability doesn't save him, because he does have his shield. Right. But that doesn't work, unfortunately, because that's only against mortal wound. So, unfortunately, ah, so he's, he's snake gone. son oh, falls. That's a general kill. <laughs> he didn't want to let go. He was like, no, I love you. <laughs> I love you, master. Don't go. I want to eat your flesh. <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, yum, 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 yum. Oh, well, he tried, right? He, um, he, fell, he fell. He 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 wasn't entirely in the game. His head wasn't there. No, nope. <laughs> he's not now. <laughs> well, maybe he'll do do better next time. Yeah. Okay. So um, I've just got my chaos knights to pile in then. I don't think you've got anyone else you can pile in, have you? Nope. Right. Okay. Chaos he's already knights. Done his stuff. So I'm at minus one to hit because it's a fiend. Yeah. Yep. Soporific musk. Okay. But again, the leader is on plus one to hit because he's a leader. Yep. So I will begin with him. So the Chaos Knight leader, he uses his ensorcelled weapon first. Let's be hitting on threes. That's two hits. Right. And wounding on fours. That's one wound with no rend. One wound. Five plus. That's save. So that's a save. And his speed. Two attacks, fours and fours. Which is one. Wound. And it's all the way over there, it's a two, so his steed is the wound. So now going over to the three remaining knights. Two are going to attack. They're going to go three into times each. Well. So they're at minus one to hit. Yeah. So they're hitting on fours. That was a lot different this time. Yep. So only three hits. Wounding on threes. No, wounding on fours. That's oh one yes, save and that's with one no more five plus. He's taken no wound so far. That's a four. Ah, uh, it takes that's a wound. one wound. Spoke too soon. So what's he down to there? He's down, he down to three, three because okay. can I can see why you can have any number. Then you can yeah. have one would do quite a lot of damage. So the question is, can the steeds do any damage? Because they need fives and fours. Fives. Nothing. Uh, that's a shame. So. <laughs> Okay, battle shock. I've not lost any models in this combat phase. That's lost no models. You've only lost your that. leader, haven't you? Really? Yep. So there's no battle shock then. So yep. it's straight into Slanesh turn two. Da -da 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 -da. Yeah. Okay, so we're into Slanesh turn two, and it's the hero phase. If there is any hero phase, because yep. the general's dead. That is a good point. But there are still heroic abilities. Mm -hmm. uh, Sadly, she has no hero heroic abilities, but what about the glorious Keep of Secrets? The Naga over there? Oh, yeah. Hmm. As long as it's an ability and not a command ability, it'll work. Incidentally, folks, while he's just checking up on his tablet, I'm going to do a little bit of a spin round on the camera so you can see Tabletop Tyrant. There's all the Warhammer Fantasy slash Age of Sigma over there. You've got 40k stuff around the corner there. You've got Vallejo paints. You've got Citadel stuff. You've got loads of Magic the Gathering and Cardfight Vanguard. If you like Cardfight Vanguard, check out our other channel. <laughs> Excellent. <Here laughs> and uh, I think Trick now knows where he is. Indeed, I'm going to have her command. I think ah, she's if, she can, if she can do spells, yep. can she so summon... <laughs> <laughs> that guy back. <laughs> oh, I wish she could, but she can cast spells, so she's okay. going to throw. Well, you've got Arcane Bolt at worst, so. She's going to Arcane Bolt him in the face. My Lord of Plagues. <laughs> so that's casting value of. 
Was it five up or six up? I think it might be five. Hang on a minute. I need to put that in a, as a bookmark. We'll just go to the rules. Should we add the minus two for magic in general or just for summoning? Uh, only for summoning, I think. Arcane Bolt has a casting value of five, and then pick a unit within 18 inches of the caster, and it does D3 mortal wounds. So, casting value of five, that is well easy into a five. So that does D3 mortal wounds against my Lord of Plagues. And she does a mighty three. Three mortal wounds into my Lord of the Plagues, who has a standard of seven wounds, which puts him down to four wounds. So we'll come over here and put the little number four down there. So he's on four wounds. Okay, that was a nice little spell, wasn't it? Yep. Okay. So now double checking everything because I'm pretty sure she has something useful. Ah, excellent. Well, they're going to be dividing up the forces. What's so this the, do that? The de demonette. Mm hmm. She got a hero ability as well, though. Nope. So, no. It's her presence, is her ability. Okay, awesome. She is going to float over here. Yeah. Hang on, not too far. It's too far. <laughs> but she's within range, I believe. Uh, right. So I think she has to be within I'll six see inches. gives the fiends a benefit, does she? Yes, by being within six inches. Awesome. And these ladies are going to. They can run and charge, right? Yes. They are going so to they'll run. be getting into combat somewhere. Five inches, they <gasps> move. Eleven. Eleven. Yeah, ouch, they could get anywhere. If you put them into the centre, they could basically charge that, that, or that, depending that's on you, point. kind of yes, what you want. Actually. So, ba -bum. that is actually a much better idea than what I was going to do. The more options you give yourself when you go to charge is the better, I find. Yes, that is a fair point. Hmm. What might be an idea is um, for your videos is mm -hmm. if you decide a series of rules and have some. Uh, so, if had the summoning. The yeah. minus two to summoning in general. So if I use my vampires against you, uh -huh. the same applies the to the same would dead. apply, yeah. And yeah, have... I, to be honest, I think that the uh, casting value for summoning is a bit low because I think you're rolling 2d6. Yeah. I think generally fives and sixes is a bit low because it makes it really easy to pull off. Yes. Whereas I think summoning is such a powerful skill, it should have a bit of a handicap. Yes, I um, have no problem with that, to be perfectly honest. Also, viewers may, might have noticed we're not using any particular comp system with this. We're literally playing... All we've done is a rough wound cap, so whether it's a balance game or not doesn't really matter in this instance. We are just playing for the fun. Which um, is the spirit of the game, I believe. Indeed. And uh, she's <laughs> going to um, move up. Yep. Now she has to be out of 3 inches, so she can still move a full mighty 14 inches. So she's going to move about here, and she is just out of 3 inches. And yep, she is just out of three inches, so she will be ready to perform her operation on the Nurgle dude. Indeed. And you may have noticed that uh, she's visited from the other dimension and has been killing Sister <laughs> Battle and Eldar. Indeed. Well, they are quite big realms. You never know what's going on, do you? Indeed. The realm of chaos is a strange place. It is an incredibly strange place. And I'm looking at the wrong app now. That's fine. <laughs> wrong app, wrong app. We've got too many more apps on here. <laughs> Two! Yeah. It's uh, like, why did it take me to buy White Dwarf? <laughs> right, okay, so I have no shooting. No shooting, so, so in this straight turn, into charges, is it? Yep, so I'm going to have her charge. Yep. And I believe I'm going to double check her ability, because I always check the abilities. I might keep a um, lot of this unedited and just keep it quite raw. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. Because it's, you know... It's yeah, see what people like and then come up with... Uh, exactly. Yeah. Come up with some channel rules and go, in these games we will be doing this. If Absolutely. Yeah. So she's going to charge in four inches. Four. I don't mm. think she's at two. Uh, she'd get about there. Uh, is that within half an inch? I think that's... Well, his tentacles yeah, stick out a bit. Inch. I'll give you that. I'll sure? give, yeah, I'll give you that. I'll be okay. sport, sporting. If you're absolutely <laughs> certain. Absolutely. Go for it. Because it means you're, you're in range of my drones as well. That's a good point. Good point. <laughs> <laughs> right. Uh, are they going to have a go? Or are you going to ring gonna roll for her first? Yeah. Uh, so what's that? Yeah. Uh, six inches. Six she's, she's in. Skadoosh. Yeah, she into the side there. She's right in to slaughter the fat kid. Straight in the back of the guy. Yeah. She's going to stab him in the back repeatedly for a bit. If she can find his back amounts, you know, all his rolls of fat and stuff. 
Okay. And I'm gonna have them charge and gonna again as the rules. Yep. Choose my target after rolling. See what you can get. Wow, that's a seven. Uh, seven. seven will definitely get you into the knights. It, also it'd get you into a good lot, although you wouldn't get everyone in with that one. You get more in against the knights, I think. And I think in this particular case. Oh, Breaking the models! Break the models! Absolutely. I've already got a broken model. Look at that. His, his little arm fell off. Oh no! The troubles of spindly models in foam. Indeed. <laughs> these, these ones are the truly spindly models because oh, yeah. look how light they are. Well, I mean, you're Herald in fine cast. It's just... It's asking to break, isn't it? It's such a nice model as well. Yeah. I'd like it. I would like that model. It's so fun and it, it, it's like a haunting ballet dancer. She is a wonderful one. But It's funny because they released that and the Nurgle Herald and the Corn Herald in the same release, but the Nurgle one was the only one in plastic. Which is really strange. Yeah. I don't understand that. It's weird because there's no real lack of detail in the Nurgle one, so I'm sure they could have done those in plastic. I think also them all being in plastic would just make things a lot easier. They'd probably sell more. Yeah, people would buy them just because people don't like fine cast. No, at this stage, <laughs> at that stage, they were hadn't given up on fine cast, whereas now I believe they have. Yeah, it, um, all resin now will be forge weld only. Which is good because that's good resin. Yeah, a, there is a difference. That's what you're paying for, isn't it? Really? Oh yeah, definitely. For a lot of the models, like the Galvor back. Oh yes. They are awesome. Indeed. Right, so since it's my turn, I'm going to pick first. I'm going to pick. Oh, go that spoon before uh, yeah. it's at the start of the combat phase. He's going to try and he's going to choose your herald. What okay. weapons has your herald got? She has ravaging claws. Yeah, I'm going to try and stop you from using those. So I'm going to roll a four and a six. And a six. So you're five. Yep. So as he okay. attempts to wrap them up, she goes snip, snip. Yeah, snip, cuts snip, his snip. tentacles right off. Right, uh, so in this case we are going to go straight to this lady over here. Yep. Well, thing, but she does look much more feminine. She's, she's beautiful. based off an elf. She's beautiful. In an eerie sort of way. The worst kind of way. <laughs> so she's going to attack with... Six attacks. Yep, and this is all into the Lord of Plagues, yeah? Yep. Um, I'm getting lots of posts that I don't want anyone else to see. <laughs> now I've got my, my money's gone in. Some sauce. Ha, <laughs> cool. My money's gone in, so yeah. Right, so, hitting on. Hitting on. Three plus, three plus. Threes and threes, this could do a bit of damage. Although there's so, a few misses there. However, you she has an ability. Or? You can reroll. Ah, uh, oh, that's only to wound. Ah, oh, harsh. So unfortunately, she's only hit two twice. Hits. Okay. But three plus to wound, minus one rend, two damage with the razor yeah. sharp claws. Okay. So that's one. One down. Yep. Minus what rend? Sorry. Minus one. Minus one. So it's a five up save. It's a ah. Six. But she's going to follow that up with the elegant great blade. Okay. Which, as uh, she is undamaged, is only is two plus two attacks. Two attacks on two up. Hang on, oh, no, no, oh. my wrong. Three plus two plus to win. Ah, so three, three plus to hit. Okay, that she two hits. hits twice and two plus to wound. She wounds two twice. Wounds. Then minus two d three apiece. Wow. So that's six saves. Six up. Uh, that's two. So it's so going to be first one causes. Yeah. Two damage. Two wounds, and the second one causes. So it's three damage. wounds total, which puts him down to one. Ah, so close to. So let's longer. grab my little number one from down here, and he is down. Bloop to That's one there. Such a shame. Yeah, well that was her attacks. So now it's my turn to nominate a unit. So I forgot to press pause. We'll just it. That's fine. It's fine. Yeah. Okay, I think common sense dictates I'm going to use Gutterbot Spume first. I'll go for the big guns, because it's fun. Okay, uh, he's going to target her, your Herald. No! Now, does he suffer any minus to hit against a Herald, or is he alright? What's that? Oh, that's a question. I will have a look-see. 
I've got so many messages suddenly. When I'm not looking, I get many messages. As for, let's see, she has a descent, defensive ability, mm -hmm. I believe. Uh, yep, here we go. Uh, we all save wounds, but she's got nothing that stops it. Nothing that interferes with my ability to hit. Nope, just her ability to gorge. Because okay. she is quicksilvery. Fair enough. Okay, he's going to start with his axe then. Four attacks, hitting on threes. That's two misses. Two misses. Wounding on twos though. One, that's minus one rend. Minus one rend. Oh, so it's a six up. Re roll, re rollable. Yeah. That crap. That's a four. That's two damage. So re roll that. Six. Yes. Oh, fine. Because she's so graceful, she's just like. Dances around it. Okay, his other attack is his flailing tentacles, which is d3 attacks. So, so three mighty attacks. three. Hitting on twos. That's, so two, that's hits. two hits. Four plus to wound. Nothing. Nothing. Got a spume. Doesn't do a thing. No wounds inflicted. I'm quite happy with that, to be perfectly honest. <laughs> so now you've got your demonets or your beans or your herald. Well, I'm going to go with the herald. Awesome, awesome. Wow, that's hot. Okay. Actually. Uh, She's well in range of both. Yeah. So she's going to go six attacks, three plus, four All plus. into the uh, drones is this going to be yes. then? Three plus, because her range is only one inch. She don't yeah. So she hits... Is that all of them? No, just sort of all, all but one. All one, so five hits, four plus to wound with a minus one rend. Four plus to wound. Four oh, plus one wound. One, and it's minus, minus one, one rend, so it's a six up save. One damage. Which fails, but because it's a Nurgle Demon, it gets a five up special Resist. save. And oh. it fails that. So, how much damage did you say? One damage. I'm One afraid. damage. So, this guy goes down to three wounds. And that is unfortunately her attacks. That's all of her attacks. Okay. Now, I'm going to try a bit of damage mitigation over here uh, by attacking with the knights. Yep. And I'm going to split the attacks. Ooh. These two knights are in range of demonettes, so I'm going to attack those with them. Okay. And these two knights are going to go into the Fiend of Slanesh there. Okay, so... The so I'm going to do the ones with against the Fiend first. Do so a minus one. Because they're a minus one to hit. So they'll be hitting on fours instead of threes. With uh, ensorcelled weapons. Uh, that is one hit. Awesome source. <laughs> and wounding on a four. Nothing from that. No wounds. And then those three ste uh, two steeds, sorry. Uh, we'll be hitting on a five. That's one. And wounding on a four. It's one wound. One wound, one five up. And this is a. Uh, um, no end on a seed. So nope. it's one wound Takes down. a wound. So he's down to two, right? Yep. That's just colour out. Oh, hang on. Okay. Now, I keep on forgetting that you <laughs> can't just keep. Flipping over. Oh, it's yeah. two. No, turn over. It's one. Right. Oh, it's a one four. regular knight into your demonettes. Yep. So he's going to be hitting on threes and fours with his sword. That's threes and then wounding on fours. That's one wound with no rend against your demonettes. No rend and their save is. Okay, so uh, one, one. One save of five, five up. That's one... Wind. One bites of dust. Yeah. And I'm going to take away one of the unpainted ones. Okay. And now the steed for that one is going to be fours and fours on two attacks. So fours. Oh, two hits. It. There we go. Yeah. Two hits. And fours to wound. One more save okay. from the steed there. One more there. five up. That's fine. Six. Absolutely fine. They're okay. elegant. And now it's down to my... Unit leader here, so he gets plus one on his hit. Yep, because he's no longer affected by the soporific. Because it's into the demonets, so this will be hitting on twos. So he hits three and times. Wounding on fours. One wound again. Hey, but is so there a rend on one him? One five up save, no rend at nope, all from no these rend. guys. That's fine. Dances out the way. And his steed is a three and a four on two attacks. 
So that's one. One hit. And one, one more save. And. Nope. So one, one it gets kicked dead. in the face, and we remove another unpainted one. Okay. That's all my attacks for my knights, I'm afraid. I only killed two demonettes, so that's a bit harsh. So. It's Mr. Trick to nominate a unit. Right, well, as your knights have attacked, but your guy hasn't. Uh, he hasn't attacked. The guy who's sandwiched between a fiend. My Lord of Plagues? Yep. No, and he's only on one wound left as well. Oh, excellent. In that case, I'm going to use this fiend over here because yep. my fiends haven't attacked and your bugs haven't attacked. That's right, yeah. So, put them over there. Whoops. The fiend is going to be all fiendish. Ah, but I see what you say. Is going to deadly pincers or bony swords. Mm -hmm. Give it four, four plus. And he's going to hit only once because he's got no reroll. Mm -hmm. uh, actually, hang on, hang on, hang on. Wait, there's uh, there. one, one there, wasn't there? Yeah, there's a one. So there's one, four plus. I did knock that over. Right. No, nope. uh. unfortunately, the, the ability doesn't affect it. It's only because she's there, so okay. it doesn't affect him, sadly. Uh, we need on... four plus. Uh, uh, but he has a barbed stinger. Yeah. Four plus. Yeah. It hits. Three plus the wound. It's a wound. Minus one rend. So five or six. Damage. Five or six. Oh. Uh, he's just survived because that would have killed him even if he did just rolled one. He would have taken two damage. Yeah, he only had one wound anyway. Uh, so. Uh, so close. Uh, harsh. Right. Okay. Uh, you haven't got any more attacks to come at him this turn. So it makes sense for me to use the drones. Yep, and then I'll end with the demonettes. And I'll end with the Lord of Plagues after that. Indeed. Right, okay, so the drones, I get four attacks total. This is all going to go into your herald. Okay. Four attacks total with plague swords. Uh, I'm going to pass this over. Uh, so actually, they've got to pile in first. That helps, doesn't it? Yeah, three inches, three inches. Okay. Now she can. She has uh, her five up save, and yeah. she has her re-rolls to save. Right. Oh, I forgot about her. Oh no, she hasn't Sorry. attacked yet, so never mind, that ability hasn't oh. come up yet. Okay. So we're Plague Swords, hitting on fours, with four attacks, that's no hits. Absolutely brilliant. <laughs> um, and then we'll go with the big kind of slurpy nose things. That's three attacks each. Has she attacked yet? Has she? I can't remember. Nor can I, to be honest. Probably not. But maybe. Yeah, because she piled in over to these guys. Oh, yes, of course. Um, so I hope she didn't get any six as she had an ability that was useful. She got oh, extra really? attacks. I don't know. This guy lost a wound, basically. Ah, yes, of uh, So, basically, this is total of nine attacks, hitting on threes. That's four misses. Have those fiends attacked? The ones on those the ones left? haven't. Okay, cool. And then you've got da -da -da, four up to wound. That's three saves with no rend. Okay. On your herald. Okay, three saves with no rend. She's going to do three five ups with a re roll. And she's going to be saves. elegant. She Amazing. is totally elegant. And then all they've got left is their venomous stings, which is one attack each. I think she may have earned herself a name, but H I'm not. Hitting on fours. That's pretty oh. good. Wounding on threes. It's one Wound. and minus one rend. Can she dodge this one? No, she cannot, but can re she re-roll that? Oh. And oh. D3 damage, so it's one damage. One damage, so she's down to four wounds. She can dance so much, but not enough to da dodge everything. Okay, that's the, all their attacks. Okay, so now it comes down to one unit of fiends here. Mm -hmm. One unit of demonets here. Yeah. And of course, Plague Lord, who... Almost died. He, um, indeed, he did. And in this case, we are going to come to Mr. Feenies. We're yep. going to try and finish off Gut Rot Spewing. Indeed. Go there. So they have, again, unless I'm mistaken. My battery's getting low on this. We might not get the entire game. Oh, dear. <laughs> if it cuts off, I'll put a little bit at the end. Well, result who wins. Uh, yeah. And if they've already attacked this turn, make sure you point out if we missed something. Because uh -huh. we've only got so much memory. Oh dear. It's easy to forget. But to at this case, they've not really done much anyway. They've only hit twice. To be honest, all the 
combat here has been really ineffective as a whole. So is that in the uh, gut rot, by the way? Yes, that's one wound. Sorry, I shouldn't have declared that, but sh yeah. uh, only wounded one. Was the uh, rend? Nope, minus one. Minus one rend. Yeah. So it's a four up save for gut rot spew, and that's a four. But then one barb stinger, four plus, which misses that's a one. entirely. And then, oh, hang on. Mm hmm. Uh, oh, oh. That's what I was looking for. You can reroll hits of one for this unit. As ah. I forgot that beforehand, that I, was, that's, yeah. I won't apply that to the other attacks, but I will apply uh -huh. it to this one, Stingo. Yeah, go for it. And Five. That makes that's all the difference. Hit, right? Yep. Four plus, three plus. That's a six. Excellent. So three plus, minus one Ren, D3 save. damage. Four up save. Uh, ah. And that would have caused two. two. It would have knocked him down to four wounds. Ah, oh, so close. He's okay. such a pain in the ass. Right, so that's all their attacks. Yep. My last unit to attack with is going to be the Lord of Plagues over there. And he just gets three attacks. He's going to go into your Naga. Yep. And he is going to be hitting on threes, which is two, two hits. And her save, does she have anything for dodging? I don't think she does. Three no. up to wound. That's two, minus one rend. Minus one, so two five ups. Uh, that's nope, two she takes and two well, it's, it's not two damage because it's d d three each. Ouch! So First let's one. do them both together. So that's okay. basically one, two, three, four wounds. Four wounds. So she's now down to. Uh, uh, she had ten. She's taken four wounds. So she's down to six. six. Oh, excellent. That's useful. Um, For a ten wound model, she's quite small. <laughs> yes, but it's uh, misleading. Great all the greater demons have been quite small, really. Yeah, if you look at the uh, original, uh, like the, the regular version of the um, great and clean one, that's not very big compared to the Forge World one. Yeah, they've made them a lot bigger, and I think that's for the best. Though yeah. in this case, she's gonna, as uh, as long as she's on the, an appro if she's not on the appropriate base for forty k, I'll buy a plastic model when they decide to make a plastic oh, model, yeah. and she can stick with this one. Indeed. Uh, hold on, she's on six wounds. She's isn't down she? to six. Yeah. yeah, there she is. There we go. Three, two, and one. Okay, yeah, so it's demonettes then, I think. Yep. And this is where we have to pause because they have many, many attacks. And pile in as well. Do you want to pile them in off camera and then we'll come back? Yes. Okay, so we've got lots of attacks coming in from the demonettes into the Chaos Knights. So Tricks line up all these dice. So, so the one with three is for your Lurus. unit leader. Yep. yep. And they all attack with two attacks naturally, but the last attacks with three. So yep, it's one, yep. two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Okay. Plus her. So that's eight people. Hitting on. Fours to hit, and if they get any sixes, they get an extra attack. Nice. Which does not stack. Does it stay dip? I don't think it's fair to say it stacks. Well, yeah, it could get on forever if you were Indeed. lucky. And here we have some sixes. Okay. How many so, two extra rolls then? So Might as well roll those now and add them on to your next ones. Okay, so and one extra uh, attack. So one, you basically one add a dice yep. then. Okay, so... Uh, so what was that to hit? Four plus. Four plus, so take away all your threes. Three. There's a few two, threes two, there three, actually. Two, two. There's one more three just... Oh, there. There. Yeah. yeah, they would get a re-roll if they were in range of her, but no. They don't, actually, I don't think... They, oh, no, mind. whatever. Okay. Um, so these... So they hit... Quite a bit, but quite they missed quite hits. a bit as well. And you that's four that, plus a wound with a minus one rend because they are wow. frail. How many wounds is that? That is hard to one, see two, on these three, dice. Four, four, five. five. Yeah. Five wounds. Five wounds with minus one rend. So I need with a. It's normally a four up save for these guys. So it's a five or six save for my chaos knights. Um. Oh, so that's two wounds saved. Three wounds taken which equates to one dead Chaos Knight because they've one, got three wounds each. One Chaos Knight is piled upon by... Um, so we'll take this guy because he's... The Demonetti Harlots. Indeed. And they pull him down. Yep. And he joins his dead brethren over in the Draw of Purgatory. And right. Draw of Purgatory. Don't steal Nashian things. <laughs> yep. The, de the Graveyard. That's it. Right. 
Are we done with combat now? Yes. So battle shock. I'll do a battle shock roll for these guys. Uh, they get plus one bravery for the banner bearer, so their bravery is eight. I don't think they can fail, but there you go. They lost one guy, so that's five. So yes. demonets. Bravery ten. Oh, bravery. How many did you lose? I Just lost two. Two, so I don't think. Uh, oh no! <laughs> oh no! <it's... laughs> because obviously, being a demon unit, when you roll a one, reality blinks, and, and now get... units can be. You can add. Oh! Basically, no. all the things that died are back. Ding! Hello! Yep. And you can position them wherever you want as well, so. That's the point. That could be quite mean. <laughs> oh well. And, uh, yeah! That's so, um... the uh, Battle Shock then. And, so it actually um... helped. Yes. No it... more Battle Shock? No. So. Nothing else was lost. Before we go into priority for the next round, we've got the scenario rules. So. The unstable ground. At the end of every battle round, after the first, each player rolls a dice for each of their units on ground level and consults the table below to see if the unit sinks into the quagmire. So shall we roll for yours first? I think we shall. Okay, let's. Uh, anything that's a hero or a monster um, just un makes it unable to move. Regular units lose models. Let's start so with. So we'll start with the Naga. So. Okay, that's a two. It's battle round two, so that. Ah, it, basically, they only sink if it's a six. So, yes, on, so this, on this particular fine. round, yeah. So, we'll then go for fiend the fiend. Here. It's fine. Yeah, the demon demon What's that? Oh, oh, two. That's a uh, two. Yeah, they're fine. And your fiend's there. On this side, it's fine. A three. And she is absolutely fine. Absolutely fine. No okay. one is sinking. So, now I'll roll for mine. I don't have to roll for the drones because they're flying. Yep. Go about spew. Is fine. Ah. And the blight kings are ah, fine. As they used the to The sorcerer. Oops, fine. is fine. This sorcerer this is fine. Side. And the Chaos Knights. Oops. Yeah, I think that's just a three, isn't it? And the Lord of Plagues is fine. So in this round, no one sank into the quagmire. Basically, you can see here, with each passing round, it gets more likely to sink, whereas on round six, a two or more makes you sink. <laughs> oh. So basically, everything's going to start going if you get to round six. Yeah. Uh, this camera's definitely not going to last that long. But we're going to roll into priority for turn three. And then we'll continue as well. So five versus uh, five. We roll. You've got two. a two and I've got a uh, six. So a once six. again, the Nurgle get the first turn. Once again.